Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Check out this question here. It's a radical equation, but a very simple one. The question is square root of x times the square root of 5 factorial equal to x plus x. What is the value of x? This is very simple, like I said earlier. And so, how do we solve for the value of x? So, take our solution here. Look at the right hand side of the equation x plus x we can sum that up to give us 2x and we can equally rewrite the left hand side of the equation because this is a square root radical this is a square root radical and according to the law of sort we say that if you have the square root of a times is a the square root of b so this is first row the square root of a b right okay so we're writing this this is going to give us square root of our 5 factorial times our x uh, is factorial please this is equal to 2x now we have to eliminate this square root radical and because it's a square root radical we want to take the square of both sides of the equation so this is going to give us the square root of 5 factorial times our x this is put this in bracket out the power of 2 uh, Equal to our uh, two x r raised to the power of two. So this goes with this. So we're left with our five factorial times our x is equal to four x squared. Now I saw this similar challenge whereby I said when you have an expression of this kind in this place, you don't use s to divide both sides because you're going to come up with just one root to this challenge, and so. You move this to this side of the equation so this is going to give you 4 s to the power of 2 then minus our 5 factorial x equals to 0 x is common so factor out x so we have here x now give us 4 yeah x then minus 5 factorial equal to 0 so we can equate this to 0 equate this to 0 right so we have our first case so let's take this is our case one, our case one. So we're going to have this to be our x equal to zero. So at the end, we're going to check if x equal to zero satisfy the original equation. Okay, so we take our case two, our case two. What is our case two? We are taking our four x, so have your four x, then minus our five factorial equal to zero. Well, this gives us a term. Raise this. All right. So here we're going to have our four x equal to five factorial. We know our five factorial, right? So five factorial could be expressed as our five times four times three times two times one. So divide through by four. Divide through by four. So this four goes with this four, and this goes with this. We now have our 5 times 3 times 2 times 1. So x will now be equal to 5 times 2 will give us 15 times 2 will give us 30. So we'll have this to be 30. So our x here is equal to 30. But let's do a simple check. If the two roots we've calculated for or solve for, we actually solve by this equation. So we have when x and x is equal to zero. Let's bring our equation. So we have our square root of x times the square root of five factorial equal to x plus x. So this will give us zero uh, times the square root of five factorial, which is equal to zero plus zero. Zero times five, the square root of five factorial will give us zero. Equal to zero plus zero will give us zero. So this shows that the first Root satisfy the original equation, which is this. All right, so for the second root, x equal to 30, let's check it out. So we're going to have here our, so here we have our, when x is equal to 30, so we have your square root of 30 here times the square root of 5 factorial is equal to 30 plus 30. All right, so from here, what do we do? We can rewrite this and also rewrite this. What is 5 factorial? 5 factorial will give us 
120, right? So, so this is going to give us here. Now we have square root of our 30. Let's take it our 30 times the square root of our 120 equal to if we add this will give us 60, right? Let's continue here. All right. So according to the law of sword, we can use this to multiply this, right? So this is going to give us the square root of 30 times 120 equal to 60. So this time this will give us 360, right? So we have 360 equal to 60. Now what is the square root of 360 here? Okay, sorry, you have a six zero here. 3600 rather. So the square root of this will give us 60, which is equal to 60. So this shows that the second root also satisfies the equation. So this brings us to the end of this math class. Thanks for being there. Until we see you in our next class. Bye for now.